Welcome to a new episode of Medicine in 3 minutes. As usual, we go start to the point. The subject is made is uh, is briefly made clear and illustrated. Let's start. Today's topic is about primary versus secondary hemostasis and coagulation test. I would like to to say hemostasis is a puzzle that must be learned in block in one piece. Here's the plan of the presentation. Definition of hemostasis, primary hemostasis, adherence, activation, aggregation, and clinic signific significance. Von Willy Brandt syndrome, Bernard Sully syndrome, Glantzmann thrombastenia. Secondary hemostasis, intrinsic pathway, extrinsic pathway, common pathway, fibrin, DDMR, and TPA. Hemostasis and coagulation test, bleeding time, INR, PT, PTT, and clinic significance. DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulation. TTP, thrombotic thrombostinopenic purpura, and heparin versus warfarin. Hemostasis is a process to stop bleeding. It is the first stage of wound healing. This involves coagulation, blood changing form from a liquid to a gel. Hemostasis has three major steps. Vasoconstriction, temporary blockage of a brick by a platelet plug, blood coagulation or formation of fibrin clot. This process sit the whole until tissue are repaired. The opposite of hemostasis is hemorrhage. Primary hemostasis. Let's deal with a, a normal capillary, not a dam damage capillary. We recognize the endothelium here and the platelet inside the capillary. And uh, the endothelium is the collagen. There is no link between platelet and collagen because this endothelium is not damaged. What happens if the endothelium is damaged? The process of adhesion is uh, in, in, in a, a normal capillary, the endothelium is interposed between the blood and the collagen. On the pterium, interposed between the blood and collagen. If on the pterium injury occurs, it simulates the formation of von Willy Brandt factor, which stick the glycoprotein 1B to platelet. The lesion of the endothelium leads to the formation of von Willy Brandt factor. Von Willem Brandt Facker will synthesize glycoprotein 1B that make platelet to adhere to the factor of von Willem Brandt. The second stage is activation. Platelet simulation induces the formation of thromboxane E2 and EDP. Now, in that aspirin inhibits thromboxane. E2 and clopidogrel inhibits the formation of ADP. Aggregation is mediated by glycoprotein 2B3A. This is the glycoprotein 2B3A which connect the fibrinogen to platelet. There is platelet here and there is fibrinogen and the glycoprotein 2B3A connect 
de fibrinogène to platelet. If there is a deficit in this protein, the glycoprotein 2B3A, that causes what uh, the, the syndrome of Glansman thrombasthenia. We know also that apsiximab inhibits the, the synthesis of glycoprotein 2B3A and uh, prevent aggregation. If in the in, in the phase of adhesion, if the von Willebrand factor is missing, that causes von Willebrand syndrome. It is autosomal dominant, gum bleeding, dental procedure, and vaginal bleeding. If the glycoprotein 1B is missing, that causes Bernard-Soulier syndrome, which is a recessive with large platelet. PT is normal, PTT is normal, but bleeding time is increased. If in the phase of aggregation there is a deficit in glycoprotein 2B3A, that's caused Glanzmann thrombasthenia. Autosomal recessive, platelet aggregation. There is a bleeding in the umbilical cord. Bleeding time increase, prothrombin time increase, and PTT normal. Let's deal with the secondary hemostasis. Secondary hemostasis, three pathways. The green one is the extrinsic pathway. It starts. The red one is the intrinsic pathway. And the blue one is the common pathway. Factor implied in the intrinsic pathway is only one, seven. Factor implied in the common pathway, two, five, and ten. Two, five, and ten, and one. Two, five, and ten, and one. The rest of factor belong to the intrinsic pathway. I repeat, extrinsic pathway only seven. Common pathway two five in ten and one. Intrinsic pathway the rest of the factor. Remember ten, ten stand for twelve, E stand for eleven, and N stand for nine. There is the eight we missing here. To explore the extrinsic pathway, PT. To explore the intrinsic pathway, PTT. For the extrinsic uh, uh, pathway cross formation, we give warfarin. For the intrinsic pathway, we give heparin. That's it for the second hemostasis. Has the thickens. 10 give 5, 5 give 2, 2 give 1, 1 which is fibronegel. The processes of coagulation is to transform fibrinogen insoluble, uh, 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 soluble to fibrin soluble. This is the end of the, 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 the process. To break up the clop, we give TPA. Plasminogen give plasmin. It need TPA. Fibrin give dedimer. It need plasmin. Now we deal with 
hemostasis and coagulation exploration test. Remember, DDMR is the hallmark of a halide hemorrhage. If DDMR persists at higher rate, it may be evidence of deep vein thrombosis. INR. INR is the patient PT over normal PT. Healthy person not taking blood, feigning like warfarin, will have a normal INR of 1. The INR international normality ratio. If you take anticoagulant, it may be important to check your INR. The test measures how much time it takes for your blood to clot and will determine if you are receiving the right dose of warfarin or not. Low INR risk of blood clot, high INR risk of bleeding. INR low risk of blood clot, INR high risk of bleeding. Warfarin, brand name is Comedine, is used to prevent blood clot like deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, stroke in patients with atrial fibrillation or valvular disease. The goal INR is 2 to 3. Duration 3 months to lifetime. Bleeding time. Bleeding time measure time for bleeding to cease. It's a prick just for one millimeter dip. There is two categories. A bleeding time test determines how quickly blood clots stop bleeding. There is the uh, Levy technique and Dux technique. The test involves making small puncture in the skin. The test is a basic assessment of how well patient blood platelets work to form clot. Abnormal result, hemophilia, thrombocytopenia, von Willebrand syndrome. And don't remember that normal bleeding time do not exclude a bleeding disorder. PT, PTT. INR. PT or prothrombin time measure the clotting time of plasma to evaluate blood clotting disorder usually bleeding. Made in liver and detect liver disease. Correct by vitamin K injection. PT in are useful to measure anticoagulant. Normal value between 11 and 13.5 seconds. For a person on anticoagulant therapy, the PT should be 2 to 3 times. The laboratory control value, screening test for vitamin K deficiency, and they, uh, the, 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 the DEC. PTT measures the overall speed of blood clot by intrinsic and common pathway. It, it measures fibrinogen. Prothrombin number two, proxalarin number five, anti hemophilic factor eight, Stuart factor ten, plasma antiplasmin uh, uh, fa factor uh, uh, eleven, and Hallman factor twelve. The PTT is often used in conjunction with prothrombin time and how quickly. Blood clotting takes place to measure the speed of clotting by means of extrinsic pathway. The typical reference range is between 30 seconds and 50 seconds, depending on laboratory, and prolonged PTT may indicate use of heparin, antiphospholipid antibody lupus, which is paradoxal because increase Pro, uh, propensity to thrombosis. Uh, use of heparin, antiphospholipid uh, antibody of lupus, coagulation factor deficiency, hemophilia, septis, 
and antibody against coagulation factor. DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulation. Formation of, formation of fibrin clots in blood vessels that form everywhere. Patient is in intensive care. Blood co comes from every intravenous site. Secondary hemostasis is about factor. PT, PTT, ENR, platelet are low. Schizocyte, uh, microangiopathy, hemolytic anemia. For platelet, give platelet. And for MAHA, give RBC. Fibrinogen, low, give cryoprecipitin. DDMR increase, PT, PTT, NR increase, give factor fresh frozen plasma. TTP, thrombotic, thrombocytopenic, purpura. What is purpura? Let's, let's start for the definition. Purpura measure between 3 to 10 millimeters, knowing that petechia is less than 3 millimeters. And ecchymosis is more than one centimeter. Purpura is between them. Thrombotic, thrombocytopenic purpura TTP, formation of yadin clot. Any blood product that flow through the ditch schemat. Platelet low. Microangiopathy hemolytic ma positive. The rest is normal. Fibrinogen normal, DDMER normal, PT normal, PTT normal, INER normal. But F stands for fever, AN stands for anemia, T for thrombocytopenia, R for renal insufficiency, and N neurologic symptom. Platelet low, rest normal, but there is fever. Anemia, thrombocytopenia, renal insufficiency, and neurologic cell symptoms. Let's make a parallel between heparin and warfarin. Heparin, intravenous, warfarin, oral. Heparin bind to antithrombin 3. Warfarin antagonist vitamin K. Heparin indication is DVT, pulmonary embolism, and now in, it works immediately. Warfarin, DVT, pulmonary embolism, and rheumatism, uh, acute rheumatism. Adverse effect of heparin, bleeding, osteoporosis, heparin induced thrombocytomia, switch to low molecular. Adverse effect of warfarin, bleeding, and necrosis. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Would you like to click the button like? Uh, your comments are very welcome.